welcome to VTeach. Today we are going to discuss about the topic binary communication channel. So, what is the difference between binary communication channel, binary memory less discrete channel? Simple, here we transmit the binary information 0, 1. So, we can relate the channel in terms of the binary bits. The inputs are x0, x1, that is x0, x1 or x0 or x1, whatever it may be, no problem. The outputs are y0, y1. So, we can represent only two inputs, two outputs in terms of the binary. But in terms of the discrete, we can represent many number of the inputs, many number of the outputs. So, in terms of the probability, in terms of the joint probability, in terms of the conditional probability, how we can relate uh, the binary channel. Simple, x0, x1 are the inputs, y0, y1 are the outputs. What are the chances? What are the how many number of possible chances are there to connect from x0 to y1 or x0 to x, y0, from x1 to y0 or x0 to y1, like this. So, the condition is P of y0 by x0, the one, the one possible condition. And the second one is same for x0, P of y1 by x0. The third one with respect to x1, probability of y0 by probability x1. The final one, y1 by x1. So, there are four conditions like this, p of x0 by y0 by x0, output by input, simple for information theory for the channel purpose. Second one, no error, no error in the sense, if it is discrete memory less channel, the present output depends upon the present input. If the present output depends upon the present input, no error. If the present output depends upon the previous, it should be error. Error chance may be there. Coming to P of y1 by x1, no error because y1 by x1, P of y1 by x0, error occurs. So, how the binary communication channel can be expressed in terms of the joint probability or in terms of the conditional probability like this. Uh, this is the mathematical representation P of y0 output in terms of the P of x0 in terms of P of x1. Like same P of y1, how we can express sir? P of y0 simple, y0 is equal to conditional probability into present output. That is P of x, y0 by x0 into P of x0. Here P of y0 by x1 into P of x1. Here the same x1 into P of x1, x0, P of x0, four conditions. So, in matrix representation, if the same equation can also be like this, P of y0, P of y0, probability of the y0, probability of the y1 is equal to P of x0, P of x1, the matrix, if we multiply like this, we can get the same equation. What is binary symmetric channel? This is binary communication. Second one is the binary symmetric. The condition for binary symmetric channel is simple. P of x0 by y0, y0 by x0 or P of y1 by x1 or represent with respect to the P. A simplification. Binary communication channel, we substitute the value of P of y0 by x0, P of y1 by x1 with respect to P. The binary communication channel can be converted into binary symmetric channel. The expression simple here P of x0, this is P of y1 by x1 or P of y0 by x0, the same expression can be represented like this, two conditions. So, in this here P of x y0 by x0, here P of y1 by x1, simple we can replace with respect to P probability. So, the total probabilities are always 1 by adding all those two we can get uh, P. So, P, of, P plus P of y1 by x0 is equal to 1. P of y1 we can re like this. We can write by substituting the value of P of y1 by x1, 1 minus P, P of y0 by x1, 1 minus P. Therefore, the above equation can be changed into like this. P of y0, P of y1 is equal to P of x0, x1, P, 1 minus P. 1 minus p, p. This is discrete memoryless. This is not error may be occurred. So, in terms of the binary symmetric channel, the probability of p of y0 by x0 can be replaced with p, p of y1 by x1 can be replaced with p and we can convert p of y1 by x, y1 by x0, p of y0 by p of x like this, like this. p of y0 by x1 is equal to 1 minus p, P of y0, y1 by x0 is equal to 1 minus P. 
by substituting we can get uh, like this this is binary symmetric channel coming to the next concept conditional entropy so information measure of information that is nothing but entropy average measure of information we can calculate with h that is nothing but entropy then conditional entropy how we can express the conditional entropy we know that entropy can be represented like this h is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to m p k log of 1 by p k base 2 it may be small or capital do not worry no problem right so entropy the conditional probability generally can be represented like this p of a b probability of the events a b is equal to whatever it, it may be in the numerator it may be in the denominator if p of a p of b by a that is uh, p of b by a is equal to p of a b by p of a this is the basic conditional probability probability of b by a is equal to probability of a b by p of b the same we can express like this p of a b is equal to p of b by a into p of a p of a so the same expression like we can express p of x i comma y j is equal to p of y j by x i into p of x i or p of x i by y j into p of y j whatever it is in the denominator even here the denominator is x i we can multiply with p of x i the same here y j we can multiply with p of y j so the same can be expressed like this these are the conditions h of x by y input by output h of y by x output by input so h of x by y can be represented probability of x by y h of y by x can be represented probability of y by x so what is entropy entropy is nothing but average information why we go for the entropy when there is an uncertainty we introduce the concept with respect to the probability that is nothing but entropy so here h of x by y h of x by y can be expressed the same expression what is the expression sir h is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to m p k log of 1 by p k base 2 here we introduced p of k instead of p of k we introduced p of x i comma y j here the same log of 1 by p k p of x i comma y j because conditional can be defined one is compared with another y is compared with x or x is compared y the same h of x by y is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to m summation j is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y j total messages transmitted in what condition the messages are transmitted log of 1 by p of x i comma y j generally for entropy we can represent this one with p k this one log of 1 by p k but in terms of the conditional entropy conditional entropy one one is defined with respect to another for that h of y by x is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to m summation j is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y z log of 1 by p of x i comma y z base 2 the conditional entropy is also called equivocation whatever it may be the conditional entropy gives the information loss in terms of the noisy channel how much amount of can be disturbed how much amount of can be data can be affected in terms of the noise here the conditional entropy h of x by y is an average measure of uncertainty in x after y is received the same concept x after y is received x is said to be the transmission y is said to be the receiver the same conditional entropy can be expressed in terms of the y after x opposite h of x by y h of y by x the same expressions h x i p of x i comma y z log of p of x i by y z here p of y j by x i this is not change same p of x i comma y z or p of y j comma x i same no need of change by but uh, in terms of this one x i by y j is different from y j by x i due to the representation is also change the representation is also change so second one conditional entropy simple comparing h of x by y or h of y by x but uh, in terms of the joint entropy h of x comma y so entropy capital h conditional entropy h of x by y or h of y by x joint entropy h of x comma y or h of y comma x so it can be expressed h of x comma y is equal to 
p of x i y z log of p of x i by y z but conditional 1 by p of y j by x i or 1 by p of x i by y z. So, this is the wave. So, h h of x by y h of x comma y. So, you can practice twice or thrice before the examination. It is very easy how we can express it. By changing the term in terms of the logarithm, the defini entire definition will be changed. So, in terms of exam point of view, the important questions are prove that h of x comma y joint entropy in terms of conditional entropy or express the conditional entropy in terms of the joint h of x comma y h of y by x h of x h of x by y h of y so for this uh, according to joint entropy the first lhs we can choose h of x comma y this one summation i is equal to 1 to m summation j is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y z log of this is the basic expression for joint entropy when y z is the output x i is the input y z is the output x i is the input the same log of 1 by x can be expressed of log of x inverse so we can represent this statement like this log of p of x i comma y z inverse so log of minus x can be represented like this minus this one can also be represented like this minus in the first place minus of the same expression summation i is equal to 1 to m summation j is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y z log of p of x i comma y z log of 1 by x can be represented log of x inverse inverse may be in, in the initials so according to conditional probability p of a b is equal to p of a by b into p of b the same p of x i comma y is equal to p of x i by y z into p of j in, the above, in this one putting the above p value in equation 1 what is the value sir p of x i comma y z can be expressed like this p of x i comma y z can be expressed with respect to the conditional probability simple log of p of x i by y z into log a into b log a plus log b minus the same term log of this one can be changed log a plus log b log a b can be right log a into log b plus log b so if we multiply the minus the second term also what is the first term sir this the entire representation can be divided into two parts what we get sir this is the first term log of p of x i by y z this is log base 2 p of y z is the second so log a b can be expressed log a plus log b already we done the same thing can be expressed like this finally the equation becomes minus summation j i is equal to 1 to m summation j is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y z this one the same thing minus this can be multiplied with this one this is the first term this is the second term the same reverse process minus will be taken here minus this one becomes log of x power x minus can be log of 1 by x the same this can be represented h of x by y is equal to like this so from standard probability theorem this can be big. the first term is h of x by y the second term can also be represented like this h of y so what is h of x comma y simple logarithm representations log of a b can be represented like this log a plus log b after simple mathematical simplifications finally we get h of x comma y is equal to h of x by y plus h of y it's the same h of x comma y is equal to h of y by x plus h of x simple this is the basic standard form representation log of representation summation i is equal to 1 to m p of x i comma y is equal to p of j the same can be applied here this can minus can be converted into log of 1 by p p j p of y z finally log of 1 by p j can be represented h of y the same thing can be done in the second one in exam point of view directly asked h of x comma y is equal to h of y by x plus h of x or h of x comma y is equal to h of x by y plus h of y if it is y by x h of x h of x by y h of y directly prove that so first we can assume the conditional entropy we can express in terms of the 
first the joint entropy expressed in terms of the conditional entropy after mathematical simplification finally we can prove this kind of representation the same log of 1 log of minus representation minus can be converted into front but conditional probability this is same kind of representation finally we get uh, this representation so information average information that is nothing but entropy next uh, conditional entropy next uh, joint entropy thank you